TN News, this is Montana This Morning. Local voter turnout uh, better yesterday than during the last midterm primary four years ago. Just ahead, we'll have a look at some of those race results. Just ahead of 6.30 on this uh, post-primary Wednesday, Chet Lehman, Matt Elway. You saw the bird landing in the pine trees out there mm -hmm. on the patio. Beautiful morning, sun really coming up. A few clouds in the sky, but nothing uh, major at this not point. Not at this point. A little later into mm -hmm. the day, we're going to see that cloud cover thicken up, move in. That'll probably bring us at least some scattered light showers, and we'll take every light shower, especially in our Absolutely. mountain ranges Absolutely. at this point. Uh, looking at how things are setting up for the morning, uh, maybe a light jacket. Uh, temperatures are going to warm up only into the mid and upper 60s, and it may feel a little chilly. So a, a rain jacket, not a bad idea, or an umbrella as we start to see some light rain showers work their way across the area throughout the day today. Again, it won't be heavy, and we'll be seeing uh, mostly cloudy skies through the middle part of the day today. Uh, good news is if you need some time outdoors and some warmer temperatures, we have that for you. You want rain, we have that. You want cooler temperatures? We've got a little of that as well. We'll talk about the timing of all of those uh, things coming up in just a few minutes. Grab bag of fun. I, we live on that. We're going to do that with some election results here as well as 6.30. Uh, taking a look at some uh, primary election results uh, from yesterday. We're going to start in that uh, Western House of Representative District on the Democrat side. Uh, Monica Trinnell from Missoula, the winner in that one. Cora Newman from Bozeman conceding uh, the race uh, late last night. Uh, Trinnell will face the uh, challenger on the Republican side. A closer race there between Ryan Zinke and Al Oshevsky in that one. And just a couple hundred votes separating both of them. A much tighter race that I think some folks believed in that. So again, Trinnell facing the winner of that Ryan Zinke Al Oshevsky race. And uh, MTN uh, political reporter Jonathan Amberian is going to take a look at the races in that first congressional district across the western part of Montana, including that close Republican contest. The first primary election results are in, and they're giving us a clearer picture of the general election race in Montana's new Western Congressional District. But it's not yet a final picture. The race to watch election night turned out to be the Republican primary. Former Congressman and U.S. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke and orthopedic surgeon and former state senator Al Olszewski were locked in a too-close-to-call back-and-forth race throughout the night. Both men decided not to make a statement Tuesday night, waiting for updated results in the morning. On the Democratic side, the result was much more decisive. Missoula lawyer Monica Trinnell was the clear first place finisher. Cora Newman, a nonprofit executive from Bozeman, conceded the race Tuesday night. Trinnell, a former Olympic rower and attorney for the Public Service Commission and Montana Consumer Council, said the work is just beginning with the general election campaign still ahead. This will be a big, big challenge. We are up against corporate money, we are up against corruption, and our challenge to deliver the Montana voice, our people and our community. The winners of the primaries will earn a spot on the general election ballot in November, alongside libertarian John Lamb. In Bozeman, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Now come 2023, Montana will have a second member of the House of Representatives. Uh, District 2, that's the, again, that race, that's District 1. Over in District 2, that's the eastern part of the state. On the Democratic side, Penny Ronning from Billings, Yellowstone County, the winner in that one. Again, that was an interesting race. Mark Sweeney from Phillipsburg passing away just a few weeks ago. His name remained on the ballot in that, actually picking up 22% of the vote in that. That's the Democratic side. On the Republican side, the incumbent, Matt Rosendale, the easy winner there in a four-person race in that. So it will be Ronning, uh, Ronning versus uh, Rosendale in the November election. Our senior political reporter, uh, uh, Ashley Nurbavig, takes a look at how that second congressional district race shaping up for the fall. The stage has been set for the 2022 Eastern Montana Congressional race with Republican Congressman Matt Rosendale, Democratic candidate Penny Ronning, and most likely independent candidate Gary Buchanan squaring off. Rosendale and Ronning won their primary races handily Tuesday night with large margins. Rosendale was elected to Montana's lone congressional seat in 2020. He beat out three challengers. Penny Ronning, a Billings City Councilwoman, has won the Democratic nomination over Billings resident Skylar Williams and Mark Sweeney, who passed weeks before the primary. While it is not official from the Secretary of State's office, Independent Gary Buchanan says he's gathered enough signatures to get his name on the November ballot. 
The race will likely heat up in the coming months as the three candidates make their case as to why they should represent Montana's Eastern Congressional District. Reporting in Helena, Ashley Nurbovig, MTN News. All right, thank you, Ashley. We had a couple of other uh, statewide races as well. Supreme Court Justice seat one, incumbent Jim Rice facing a challenge by Bill Dalton. Rice uh, retaining that seat with 76% of the vote. Supreme Court Justice seat two, incumbent Ingrid Gustafson facing a three-way race uh, with Michael McMahon and James Brown. Now, what will happen in November is Ingrid uh, Gustafson and James Brown will face off in that uh, Gustafson winning the primary. 48 to 36. Now, as you see there in that graphic for Supreme Court, C2, uh, Gustafson Brown advanced to the November general election. Gustafson appointed to that seat in 2017, ran unopposed in 2018. In her primary campaign, Gustafson said she was a dependable and experienced member of the state's highest court. Her opponent in November, Public Service Commission Chair James Brown. Brown received strong support from the state Republican Party. Now, despite that race being nonpartisan, Gustafson told MTN News last night she felt good heading into the midterm election. Uh, obviously, I'm honored and very thankful that Montana voters have given me the opportunity to continue, you know, in my job and to continue as a justice and then to be able to run, you know, for re-election to the Supreme Court in the fall. A statement saying he was humbled with the support he received from voters across the state, said, quote, as a constitutional conservative, I am the only candidate in this race who will always follow the Constitution and the law as it is written, not make law from the bench. Marijuana on the ballot in several places as well. Again, that's the Supreme Court race one. Jim Rice, the winner in that one, in the incumbent holding the seat. As I mentioned, marijuana on the ballot in a couple places here in Gallatin County. Two measures. One, should medical marijuana be taxed? The voters in Gallatin County saying yes, a 3% local option tax, 56% to 44%. Should recreational marijuana be taxed? Many more voters saying yes to that. 77% of the voters saying a 3% option tax should be added to Gallatin County's recreational marijuana. Over in Butte Silver Bow County, uh, two ballot measures as well. Medical marijuana, yes, 59% to 41%. That would again be a 3% tax. For the recreational marijuana, easily the voters of Butte Silver Bow County saying yes. 78% of them saying tax recreational marijuana with a 3% tax. In other races this morning, Butte Silver Bow Search and Rescue Levy, that one passing pretty easily by the voters of Butte Silver Bow County, 75% uh, of them saying yes to a search and rescue levy. Uh, Gallatin County Attorney has a Democratic Party primary. Audrey Cromwell, the winner in that one over Bjorn Boyer, 76% of the vote uh, for Cromwell. In other races, Butte Commissioner District 10, a four-way race there, a pretty close call. William Bill Anderson pulling in uh, almost a third of the votes in that one over Brian McGregor, Maisie Susser, and Brody Shields. That's with 100% voting in. Butte Commissioner District 10, William Bill Anderson in that one. Now, of course, we're following lots of races in counties across southwest Montana and don't have time to be able to bring all of them during our broadcast. You can follow those races on the bottom of your screen. We'll keep that ticker up throughout the newscast. You can also head to our website for local statewide results. Uh, if you're tech savvy, uh, go to your phone, pull up that QR code at the bottom, just like you get the beer menu at your favorite restaurant, and that will connect you to our coverage. 638, it is time for a break here on Montana's